what's up everybody welcome back to another video from exotic astrology and today we will discuss about money <laughs> no no money money is honey but today is not the video on money <laughs> today's video is on free consultations <laughs> there's this fuss in the internet so many people writing in posts of different pages of astrologers and psychics and tarot card readers and counselors that why don't you do a free consultation of course there are people who have asked this to me also <laughs> the question is how should we see this yes and today the video is all about that Welcome to Exotic Astrology and if you have not subscribed to my channel then please subscribe to it and if you like this video click the thumbs up and share it with everybody you know or with those who are wanting or searching for free consultations <laughs> and if you are interested in doing a donation for the sustenance of this channel then you can go to the PayPal link below and do some donation or else continue watching this video now how should we start <laughs> let us start by saying that when we go to a doctor to treat ourselves right to show our teeth problem like i had recently eight operations i had to undergo or when we go to a lawyer to fight a case for property or for divorce or when we go to the coaching institute or when we go anywhere else in this world or to a movie show or to the McDonald's or to the amusement park we never ask this question why no free allowance yes have you ever asked or have you ever seen anybody asking this question you have gone to IMAX or big big movie theaters spending 500 rupees for a ticket or when you purchase a mobile have you gone to the multi-billion trillion dollar enterprise and asked this question sir why don't you give one two mobiles in free sir <laughs> why why have you never asked this question and this video is for those people who are speaking in that tone it's exclusively for them it's not for one person it is for anybody who thinks like that have you ever thought but whenever it comes to religion spirituality or astrology when it comes to doing a reading or doing some puja or doing some mantra to the poor fellows how much does a pandit or an astrologer earn how much he may earn in hundreds, thousands, lakhs, but he's not earning like the billion dollar MNCs. Or he's not earning like the politicians are doing corruption. <laughs> why is he always asked this question that why does he not do free consultations? So let us ask this question to ourselves. When we are asking something from somebody we do not ask it to do for free that is not good because the fact of the matter is everybody has money even if you say you do not have money you still have money <laughs> because it depends what you prioritize if going to the McDonald's is in your priority list then you have money for that if going to the movie where you spend 500 or a thousand rupees or maybe i don't know how, how much is it in uh, western countries where you go and spend money for things that will not help you in this life how how is seeing a movie going to help you in this life only thing is for two hours you are in illusion in some darkness in some fantasy in some 
unrealistic world and then suddenly after two hours you're back to the same old boring life yes <laughs> i'm calling it boring life i'm not calling it life <laughs> the same frustration is back after two hours so that is what that is the level of justice that has been done to your money there there you see but I've never heard people going and asking in movie theatres, please give me a free ticket. Because you know what will happen if they ask, right? The security will throw you out of there. <laughs> they will not let you in. I have not heard people going to doctors and asking, can you give me a free treatment, please? But why always when you go to an astrologer or to a pandit or to a pujari or to a person who is connected to God or religion, why do you always ask him that please give me this in free? Why? I am not saying everybody asks. I am only asking those people who ask this. Why? Tell me. You answer me today. I am questioning you. Answer me. Do you have the courage and the guts to do the same thing with everything else in this world? If not, then please do not do this here. And when I say here, I mean all the community. I'm not talking of myself here. Because the other day I saw a comment in a channel of another astrologer that a person has blasphemed him, criticized him, attacked him on saying that you are a bogus astrologer. You are supposed to do consultations in free. This is Jyotish. This is Vidya. Vidya is not to be charged. Well, I want to ask that person who have given you the definition of Vidya <laughs> because if you know about Vidya, about Guru, then there is also something called as Guru Dakshina. But the predicament of Kali Yuga is in Satya Yuga, Treta Yuga, Dwapar Yuga, people, whenever they used to go to a Pandit to do some to do some puja, yagya, havan or to get some mantra. They used to give tons of charity. If you read the Ramayana and the Mahabharata, you will know, my God, the level of charity the kings have done to the Brahmins. It's enormous. It's stupendous. It's beyond the range of human comprehension. Especially kings like Dasarat Maharaj, Maharaj Nimi. So many kings, my God. And even the common public. But the predicament in Kali Yuga is you do not give charity yourself. That is why you have to be told that okay, this much money you have to pay. Otherwise, you will not be given this reading or this consultation or this guidance. See how precarious the situation of people in Kali Yuga is. That which is supposed to be done voluntarily is not happening. That is why astrologers and pundits and religious spiritual people, they have to charge you. Ideally, they should not charge you. Which means, ideally, you are supposed to go and give them Dakshina without being asked. That is what is the meaning when I say they are not supposed to ask money. Yes? For example, whenever I will invite a pandit to my home for Satyanara and Puja, I will not wait till the moment he asks me, what about my Dakshina? It is horrendous if he asks this. Horrendous for me, not for him. <laughs> Better than letting him ask, I should go and jump in the Ganges. Better than letting him ask this. Better I die, I commit suicide. I should burn up myself in fire. I will never let anybody ask that. Before he asks or before even he thinks of asking this question, I will tell him that, my dear Guruji, I will give you this much Dakshina. Is it okay? And then if he says, no, I think this is less, then I will give him more. <laughs> Or that does not mean that he, if he is charging 10, 10 lakh rupees for a puja, it doesn't mean that. But he will not do that, we all know. <laughs> and I am also not including those people who in the name of religion they will 
use their own scams and own systems and their business is going on. I'm not talking of all those people. They do not come under the ninth house. They are all Rahu. If somebody is cheating somebody in the name of religion, in the name of spirituality, they are not Jupiter. They look like Jupiter. They may have channels in YouTube and big, big followers, million, trillion views. And they may be dancing in money, but they are not the ninth house. They are not the house of the guru, of the astrologer. So before I tell somebody or an astrologer says to somebody that you have to pay this much, it is our duty to ask him how much do you charge. Because if the kings would behave like this, then the rishis would curse them. Of course, there is no history in the scriptures that any king has behaved like that. But I am saying even if they would have behaved like this, they would be cursed by the sages. Because whatever the king does, the public will follow. And that is why the kings used to respect the Brahmins very much. But now there are people who are doing exactly the opposite. So let me request you that if you are not asking for free health checkups, for free appointments at a lawyer, or when you go to a bank, <laughs> or when you are going to Peter England showroom, when you buy that suit, Giorgio Armani, or when you buy that Gucci bag, or when you are buying that iPhone, iPhone 2, iPhone 3, iPhone 20, when you are buying Macbook, when you are going to that sports stadium and spending hundreds and thousands of rupees for some hours, if you are not asking for free consultations or free appointments there, please do not ask here. It is not good. That's the first thing I would say. The second thing is, if you ask and if the astrologer does it for you for free, even then it is not good for you. I will tell you why. Because in the scriptures, it is said that whenever a Brahmin will do something for you, some puja, yagya, dana, tapa, and he does not get the charity or the dakshina, which you are supposed to give him, then all the benefits of that activity goes to the Pandit. You do not get anything. You have simply wasted your time. And in case of astrology, the same thing will apply. Whatever the astrologer says, if he is a genuine astrologer, if he knows how to guide you as, as per remedies and suggestions or giving you the life path, if you do not give him Dakshina, then you will not be able to make anything good out of it. The advice will not go here. It will go here and then from here it will come out. It will not sink inside. Because remember, anything done for free is taken cheaply. Should I repeat? <laughs> anything done for free is taken for granted. It's taken cheaply. And on the other hand, even if the astrologer does something for free, then you will also have to pay that money back to him in some lifetime. Remember the principle of karma. Do not play with fire. Do not, do not, do not, do not play with fire. <laughs> and on the other hand, if when he says that he will not do, and then you criticize him. You blaspheme him. My God. Next life when you are born, Jupiter and Rahu will be associating with each other. Because what is Jupiter? Jupiter is spiritual men. Astrologers and all these people. And what is Rahu? Rahu is cheating. Rahu is insult. And then you will run into a sex scandal with a guru. And then you will become an atheist and you will put posts over Facebook that, oh, astrologers are bogus, astrology is useless. 
God is not there. God doesn't exist. <laughs> That's what happens when you blaspheme gurus or blaspheme astrologers or anybody who is giving you guidance. It can be your school teacher also. Anybody or your father, anything related to the ninth house, you are doing blasphemy. That means you are putting Jupiter Aho together and the effect will come in the next lives and maybe in this life also because in my karma video I already talked about what did I talk three kinds of karma yes Kriyamana karma Pradabdha and Sanchit Kriyamana is what you do in this life which has the power to alter the Pradabdha and all of this will ultimately affect your Sanchit karma. <laughs> so if you think that by blaspheming, you will go ahead somewhere. You are so wrong. And the funny thing is, nothing will happen to that person. <laughs> Suppose I go to a spiritual personality's website and I just blaspheme him just because he did not give me something which I want, which he never said, of course. And then suppose I write a big article. Oh, he's bogus. If I write useless things, if I write false, if I do false allegations, nothing is going to happen to the person. 10 people may read it, 10 people may ignore it. But the terrible consequences will come on my head. So I am very, 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 very careful before doing anything like this. That will be the last thing I would do. Even if he's not speaking about the Vedas, but if he's giving some guidance on anything, it can be a mobile or a TV or a camera or anything it can be. Or even if he's teaching you how to write a article in English, anything it can be. If he is giving some kind of guidance, blaspheming him is the last thing I would do. Because the moment I am hearing him, he is my guru, he or she. So the moment I insult him, Rahu has entered the ninth house. And when Rahu enters, that's it. It's finished. Then I will also see how much spirituality you practice. Yes. The world will see how much I practice. I will fall completely. I will completely collapse if I start doing all these things. So this is my humble request to everybody watching this video. That please do not blaspheme guides, gurus, counselors related to astrology or not. Anybody who is giving you guidance. For the sake of the universe, please do not do. Or at least for your sake, please do not do. If you do not like them, stay away. If you do not like them, stay away. If you do not like that channel, do not see the videos. Nobody is forcing you. But do not blaspheme them at least. Yes. And if you cannot afford the fees which they have set for everybody then just say them thank you there are many people who have approached me and i have said okay this you have to pay this if this is your query you have to pay that much and uh, many of them have said yes uh, i do not have money now when i have money i'll get back to you or many of them have said okay my, this is my monthly income this is my yearly income i'm sorry i cannot pay you this much and that's fine and there was one person who was uh, he, he was in a very bad state he was request, requesting me again and again, please uh, see something at least for career. And then I thought, okay, if he's too much desperate and if he's really undergoing a very bad time, then, well, let me s do his consultation, even if it is for free. And then the person told, the moment I start earning money, I will give you. See how beautiful it is. So if you cannot afford the Dakshina, which the person has said, just say, okay, thank you. That's fine. I cannot afford it now. Whenever I have the resources, I will do it. Or just ignore it. But at least do not blaspheme. I'm not saying anybody has blasphemed me. But I'm saying I have seen other people blaspheming other, other senior astrologers. 
it is very bad please do not do it because you are spoiling your son son is the significator of jyotish you are destroying your son wherever son is sitting that house is getting spoiled whichever houses rahu is expecting those houses are getting destroyed the poison in rahu is increasing all right that is it from my side if you have any questions queries and comments then please let me know and if you want a professional one to one specific consultation then please contact me in my email or in the whatsapp number which i have given below all right and before ending god is there with you all the time just look to him and he will be there until next time bye bye see you